Hello friends. I have to ask, is the music playing? We are doing this silly thing again where my iPad isn't actually playing me the music. It's probably playing you the music. So it's, I think it was playing. I think it was playing. It's just being daft again. Always daft. Hello everyone. Good morning. I'm back. I missed a week, but uh, that's okay. I'm I'm back now. Yeah, okay, so it was. Uh, I thought it was a couple of weeks back, Becky. I had it, and I couldn't hear it. You guys could hear it, and then I was like pressing the button, and it was going on and off, and driving me nuts. So I'm hoping that I have switched it off right now. I'm hoping that it's not playing anymore. I don't know what's going on with it. So. Um, uh, Good morning, good morning, good morning. Okay, um, I better introduce myself because sometimes I forget to do that. My name is Alisa Tilsner and I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Australia going live both on Facebook and on uh, YouTube at the same time. Having music difficulties, maybe I should, um, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It must be just the program. So hopefully, yes, it stopped. Excellent. Good morning, Jennifer. So we've got people from, uh, we've got lovely ladies on YouTube and lovely ladies on Facebook. So if you see me commenting to somebody um, and you didn't see their question or their comment, then perhaps they're on the other platform but it works. I sort of toyed around with the idea of just doing one platform, but I know that um, you guys are on both, so we'll stick with this for the moment. Okay, hey Miss Paula, uh, good to see you. So we're going to play with the Irresistible Blooms uh, bundle once again, but I am actually going to break out from the designer series paper i'm not going to use that i'm going to use a different color um combination which should be interesting <laughs> so but it should be good um i hope so but i will show you the paper and i will show you um the embellishments that go with it because we now have our online exclusive um products that were released yesterday morning now the easiest way to see it because when you go to the online store and they're only on online you won't you won't see them in a catalog or anything like that but when you go to the store and you click the online exclusives button it brings up a whole lot of products that are available online only so what i recommend doing is going to the i think it's called what's new and then you'll be able to see um uh, the latest releases or something but anything that's got a little new label on it is part of the new March range um, which will continue on so for how long I don't know <laughs> depends on how they sell <laughs> whether they sell out whether they come back whether yeah I don't know so anyway that's what it is we're trying something new and it looks exciting so I do have this range and I'm actually thinking there's a little rhinoceros set on there so there's one suite there's a couple of bundles there's a punch bundle and a die bundle there's a standalone stamp set um gosh I can't remember what else was on there so but anyway but go and do go and check it out afterwards okay yes I think it's a very exciting development so hopefully um we get more and more and then this morning we discovered that uh, it is definitely confirmation that we will be getting a color refresh uh in the new annual catalog so that is exciting too it'll be sad and exciting at the same time sad because there'll be colors that we use all the time that we love um like my rose red that they retired a few years back um which i was devastated about and i still am um but i didn't keep any of it so it wasn't obviously that de devastated right so we'll be seeing some colors disappearing and we'll be seeing some colors coming back and of course then we'll be seeing brand new colors as well so that is exciting 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 times okay now i wanted to share with you wait a minute like i get to the right spot on my um, ipad so this morning this was oh uh, is that showing man it's not showing on my screen i'm hoping that it's showing for you we had, um, I'll see if I can get rid of it and come back. Yep, oh, there we go. Now it's showing for me. Ugh. So this was from the Stampin' Up! Um, Facebook page. And I do believe that it was also on their Instagram page. So it was a basic this or that post. Um, 
And I thought they, because they have a creative challenge each month and, and half the time I miss them and I don't get to join in, but this one popped up in my feed. So I thought I might do colour combo number one because are they not my colours? You know, I use them quite often. So I thought I was going to use the paper this morning and I thought, no, no, let's uh, let's check out um, this colour combination. I like the this. If you like the that, let me know, have a play. And then, of course, when if you do have a play with their challenge, then use the hashtag creative challenge SU when you create um, a card and share it. So I thought, what? Well, that's it. We're gonna we're gonna play with that this morning. So yes, I say, oh, I don't know. It's just oh, little glitches that you sort of like, and then they make you look silly. <laughs> so anyway, let's swing around. We'll have a closer look at this bundle. Uh, that one. Okay. So we're gonna have a. Oh, uh, I should I should call this session the squeaky chair because seriously. My chair squeaks, squeaks, squeaks all the time. Okay, so we're going to be using the Irresistible Blooms bundle. So 11 stamp sets and they are, oh, if I can open it, rubber. And uh, I have used mine a fair bit already. And, of course, the dies that go with them. Good morning, Nicole. So dies that go with them. Of course, we've got a die each that will cut out each of the flowers and the leaves. And then a couple of open dyed shapes and a nice fancy circle, which is really, I really like that. And the long stringy dot thingy here that I don't know, I don't know how to uh, describe that. Stringy dots, dies, shapes. Thingies, very delicate. They're very, very, very delicate. So we're going to use them. If you're looking at the rest of the suite, so of course you can purchase it as a suite, you can purchase it as a bundle, you can purchase them individually. Choice is totally up to you. Now I have chomped into a fair bit of the paper, but it is just too nice. And there's that pattern there, which I've used all of that paper now so i've only got scraps left but i'll just quickly flip through them so texture cloudy watercolory texture on one side and just oh, it's just oh you honestly you have a hard time deciding i love that one you have a really hard time deciding what side of the paper you want to use all the dyes will cut out all the flowers and the leaves um, and you don't want to use any of it, but you do want to use it all. And you want to use um, dyes will cut all of the lace out. Uh, you want to use big pieces of it too because you just want it, you know, you just want this paper to shine. So there we go. Two new returning in colours, which I, that one's really nice too. I swear I thought that they were going to be in the online range today, but they are not. So... It was a bit of scrambling with my monthly tutorial, but I think I made it work. You, if you uh, want something to go with a pretty peacock, uh, pool party is a nice uh, complementary colour for it. And then also is these uh, loose frosted dots, and these are really pretty as well. They look shiny in some places, but that's just their flat backing. So uh, you will definitely need a liquid adhesive to get that going oh look am i matching check that out i'm wearing pretty big today cool well in the loose dots i am not in the, not in the traditional car stuff um okay but i'm not going to use them today i uh am going to use lost lagoon oh maybe lost lagoons a little bit uh smokier dustier anyway Barmy Blue, Old Olive, Calypso Coral, Petal Pink. My colours. And we're all, oh, and I haven't told you, we're going to make a peekaboo card today. So I'm um, excited about that. So anyway, I'm going to start off with, I'm going to use a base of basic white thick, and then I'm going to do a layer of um, uh, Barmy Blue. And then, of course, my flowers and my leaves are going to be in uh, the other colours. What am I looking for? I'm looking for something. I don't know. Maybe I'm looking for my brain. Oh, yes, Vicky. Outlander starts season six. 
season six starts on Tuesday. Oh, we're all excited. And you know, I started watching. I started watching season um, one again uh, a couple of days ago, and I am. I think I'm nearly finished the first season. They're up to the bit where they are looking for um, Jamie. They've gone into the highlands and they're doing their song singing and trying to find him. But then comes that horrible episode, which is a bit sad. It's horrible. Horrible to watch, but amazing acting. Anyway, I'm digressing. Now, a uh, little word of uh, if you haven't seen me for the first, if this is the first time that you are joining me, I'm just actually, I don't even really know what I'm going to do. Maybe I'll do that afterwards because I have no idea. So I'll set you aside and I'm going to start with some embossing, I think. Um, so if this is your first time watching me, I don't give uh, measurements on my lives, but you can, let me get my banner up. Where is it? Um, you can go to my blog address, which is at the bottom of the page, and you can sign up for um, my newsletter and you'll get a tutorial straight away, an instant tutorial download. And then each Friday you will, my time, ooh, I've got stuff all over my blog, so I need to clean them again. At uh, my time you will get... Um, uh, a, a, an email come out and you will get a tutorial in that which is the card that we're making today so you can head on over there after we've been here God, I can't talk and think at the same time anybody else have that problem all right I'm going to do my big flower and my small flower and a couple of leaves in both sizes uh, so, yes so head on over there subscribe to my newsletter and you'll get tutorials each week, mostly each week. Last week I didn't go live, so I didn't have a tutorial for you. I apologise for that. Um, it was just crazy, crazy week. Uh, I'll get rid of that because it takes up, does take up a lot of room. Hello, Priscilla. You've just finished watching all of the seasons again. Oh, I know. I, season one is the best. I love it when they are in um, Scotland. So now, if you if and if you are watching for the first time, I you know when you finish a show on netflix and it's like oh what am i going to watch now and everybody would always always recommend you should watch highlander outlander highlander that's a completely other one um you should watch outlander and i'm like oh, i don't know i tried to get into the book once before and you know i only got a couple of pages in it didn't really interest me and and um and then I was like, oh, well, maybe I'll give it a go. Oh, my gosh. I was hooked straight away. And my husband was away for two weeks and I watched the entire five seasons that was available to us in, like, less than two weeks. I binged on it. I went to bed far too late, watched it back to back, and then when it finished I was like, oh, so what did I do? I started watching it again. <laughs> But I took my time on it, so I know I need to. I need to get the books. I really need to get the books. I did. I have got one. I've got a copy of. I somehow managed to get the first book free, and it, this was back in like years ago. And I managed to get the first book free, and it is on my. Um, whoops, it's on my computer, but I need to be able to get it onto my iPad. Um, but it won't sync with my iPad, so I don't know I should just buy the books. But I did try and I did try and uh, download, like borrow it from the digital library, but I don't, I can't read quick enough, and I never get I never get to them. So, all right, I got a couple there. I'm just going to do a little bit more. Apologies. It's that good, Priscilla. Yes, it is that good. All right, I'm just going to do a few more leaves and then a few more. So apologies that this is taking a little bit longer to do. And then we're just going to do some straight embossing. Last week I did um, watercolour 
embossing. So not last week, the week before. No, actually it was before that too. I don't know. It was sometime. But you can find it on my YouTube channel. You can find the replay of it um, over there if you are looking for it. So, which I loved. Good morning, Samantha and Christina. All right, at the moment I am just prepping some embossing stuff and then today we're just going to do the normal um, emboss resist, you know, with the blending brushes and stuff. So keeping it simple. All righty. Excuse the uh, noise that will be coming up. You guys can keep talking Outlander stuff if you want. Ooh. And I even joined a fan group. Can you believe it? Oh my gosh, I'm so lame. <sighs> but they keep putting photos of, you know, characters and that. And it's such a distraction. I'm going to have to leave it. No worries, Carrie. Really done. You know what, I just thought while I was sitting here embossing this, <laughs> And somebody will have to have a play if I don't get to it first. But I was just thinking those leaves would look really pretty if they had the gold leaf gilding on it. Oops. They would look super pretty done in gold leafing. But I'm not going to do that today. Maybe I'll play with that another time. I'll just give these a quick little clean, <laughs> assuming that they are actually getting clean. Just so I don't have that sticky, sticky versa mark on them. Okay. Ready. So I am going to do one colour, one in Calypso Coral and one in Petal Pink. I think I'll do... Bearing in mind that it's going on the front of blue, but I think I'll do the big one in Calypso Coral. So just applying your ink, you can do deeper in the centre and fade out, which I think I might do. So nice and deep in the middle and just let it, let it fade out. Now, another little tip that you guys told me was that if you are on uh, YouTube and you're watching from a mobile device, you can actually pinch your screen and zoom in on what I'm doing. So again, I'm just going to do focus in the centre and fade out. Like so. And then add leaves. So this is actually pretty pretty quick when you do it colouring this way. And hopefully that's sort of similar green. <laughs> so just focus that on the base of the leaves and turn that around base of that one so it just fades out as we get to the tips. So you can see it's more centred in here and as it moves out it fades. 
and we'll just do these ones. One, two. And of course these little ones, we'll just have to do them as is. They're a little bit small to deal with. Okay. Now, uh, oh no, I'll tell you that in a minute. Otherwise I'll get distracted. Let me put them in Okay, now I am going to bring in my machine and I'm hoping it will work for me. Uh, you will see, just in case. I'm hoping it will work. I'm thinking it's giving me payback for um, not having new plates, but I can't remember where I put my new plates now. I will find them. I will go through my room and clean it up and I will find my new plates. They're probably in a box somewhere. All right. Might need to give it a little bit of a bend. Sometimes you just need to bend it back the other way after it's been embossed. Uh, you will see why it might not work. Well, apart from the cracked plates, but I'm hoping if I hold my tongue in the right direction. No, it's working, but this this is why. <laughs> it keeps coming off on me now. Just wants to fall off. All right, and a small one. Oh, you know what else I should do? I should buff, buff that one off. I always forget to do that step, the buffing off. I oh, know, I know, I don't know. I think it's got it in for me. I'll have to wait until hubby gets home he can have a look at it all right and it, like when i get into the like into this part of it that's usually when my grip on it changes and it fly like it falls off again so i'm trying to push it in and turn it at the same time so it doesn't fall off okay leaves to go sorry guys i know this bit can take a little while I never know whether to come and, you know, be prepared and have this stuff already done or, but I'm hoping, I'm hoping that all of this will look nice on the blue here. We'll stick this on here and see what it looks like. There we go. What do you reckon? I might have to do some, um, Oh, Priscilla says that that happened to her and Stampin' Up! replaced the mini boss. Oh, wow. That's pretty, um, that's fantastic. Actually, they're really good, really, really good. Like when the handle of my big one snapped, like the whole handle snapped off, this one just comes out. You can, you can put it back on, actually. It's not sitting in there very well at the moment. Whoops. i just got to get them lined up properly and so it goes back in. But um, yeah, they sent. I asked, it inquired because I didn't want to have to buy a whole new machine. So I just thought, on oh, the off chance before I do buy a whole new machine, I would just ask them if they had a handle that I could buy, and they just sent me a whole new one. So just the handle. So they are pretty darn good. I know I've got to think for handles, right? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what that says about me. <laughs> All right, nearly there. 
and then I just got a few of these little guys to go. So I hope you're hanging in there with me. And then the fun part comes because I get to show you this little peekaboo. Um, whoops. Oh, I also have to do my sentiment. Why is that? I always forget. I always forget something. So I've just got to think about the sentiment in my head because of the little technique thing that we're doing. So, um, oh, now I've just looked down and I've got blue all over my map. I think I'm going to have to get the spray and wipe onto my map here, I think. Actually, that looks sort of like a really pretty colour combination. Quite like that. So now, and now that I'm looking at it, it looks a bit stark. So I'm thinking I might have to do some sponging around the outside of my card, and definitely those ink splatters will be going on there. Just to uh, make it all feel and tie together. Alrighty. The last one. And my son, who is normally working on a Thursday, is now no longer working on a Thursday because his uni is back on. So you may hear him in the background. Alrighty. Okie doke. Let's get these away. Oh, and you will see one exciting thing because I do have to use the big machine. All right, which I think is what we will do now. So, okay, the peekaboo part. So I am going to be using round die, but you can use any shape you like. I'm going to use the biggest one because I think that will fit in there quite nicely. Okay. This is really, really fun. Let me get my big machine. Right. Bring that in so that you guys can really see what I'm doing. Get my plates. Okay, now you'll need to make sure that you are lined up square for this. Make sure you're all nice and straight. So we're gonna pop Bring that right in so you can see. We did a similar card to this. Uh, we Pam, Pam and I from Stampin' in my PJ, Pam and I hold a demonstrator online virtual retreat, that's a bit of a mouthful, called Creative Carnival, which we do. We've done six of them. And uh, this is one of the cards. We, we do classes. Pam teaches a class and then I teach a class. But we also have bonus videos that come up through the day. And uh, this is one of the techniques that I showed in my card. So I thought I would do it here again. So we will be opening up registration for our next one in April and we'll be holding our next one right at the end of June and start, I think it was the 30th of June, 1st of July. We will be holding um, our next creative carnival. So it is Australian demonstrators only. So keep an eye out for that. You can sign up to my newsletter to find out more about it when it comes out. But this is one of the cards that we made as the bonus um, class. So I'm going to do a partial die cut now, which is why I've got a new plate. Did you notice? Because <laughs> you definitely can't do it with a really bendy plate because it just would not hold and clamp down. So we're just going to run that through and do a partial die cut. So the die will only cut where the plate has been now you can use any shape that you like you can use squares you can use um, pretty much any die shape that you want so you just need to make sure it comes across as straight and then we get that type of look going on okay and i don't think i need this anymore I just have to remember not to stack when it starts getting bendy not to stack my uh, 
the machine on it because that's how it fell off and broke last time. Okay, so now that we've got that going on, we want to do a little bit of a score line across where the two uh, edges meet. So just between those two die cutting lines, we're just going to score. Just your ruler and bone folder is fine. And then we have this little flap that you can fold back and that becomes like a peekaboo. So I'm going to put my flowers, my flower over the front here. So it gives me, I've got a lot of space going on. So um, what I am going to do is sponge around the edges of it and also do some splatter. Right, now I'm sure that I have a blue, yes, I do, a blue brush and that'll just sort of fill in that white space a little bit too. So, whoops, always dab off. Gosh, listen to my own advice. And then you forget, right? That's a little bit heavy on that end. I'll have to make this end, these edges heavier too. really how I wanted that to go but anyway we'll go with it when we add some splatter it might be a bit different Looks good. That's okay. That's a good then. I might bring that in and to try and soften them up. And I do have a lot of white space to use up, so um, that's fine. I can do. I can actually do that. Bring that, soften it right up into the middle of my card. Okay. So now I'll bring back my ink splatter, and I'll just pop on here roughly where I will be having my flowers and I will pop a bit of my sentiment on there as well so I might do like um, perhaps like a dancing splatter across across the front like going up on a diagonal how's that so a little bit of splatter twist it around Bring it back, see what that looks like. Do we need to add any more or is that looking okay? Might make it a little bit wider. So we can just come back in. Because we do get a lot of that covered up. So how's that? Is that okay? I don't know. I sort of, I had the peekaboo part in my mind, but I didn't really have anything else in my mind. <laughs> it always happens to me. I do some silly things. All right. So now how this is going to work is I've got my white base. Make sure my fingers are semi-clean. And we're going to layer this on top. And when we have our peekaboo, it's going to open up. But then on the inside, we're actually going to have um, another little flower combination, which we will stick down there. So we've got our flowers on this side and then our flowers on that side. And then you can also open up the middle of your card. So you've actually got like a little, a couple of little secret, um, little secret area for it. All right. Let's get our sentiment done. God, it's me. It's my friend today. Okay, now I was thinking for the sentiment, what I might do is try and separate the hooray, it's your day. So I can have hooray on the outside and then pop it's your day in the little peekaboo section. And, yep, splatter is from um, the same stamp stair. Isn't that amazing? I love a good splatter stamp. So I'm going to do that. So I'm going to separate it. And then on the inside of your card is where you can write the rest of your, um, you know, your personal sentiments. Um, so that's what I'm going to attempt to do. Maybe I should 
Maybe I should stamp and emboss two of them just in case. It looks like it'll come apart quite nicely because I'll fussy cut one and then do a straight edge around the other. But I will, I will do two of them just in case while I'm at it, right? And I re-inked my Versamark the other day. And I tell you what, it's so much better now. The embossing just, I'd used black embossing the other day and it was just so smooth and shiny. I was like, yeah. So don't forget, re-ink re your Versamark more often than what, what you think you should. So, because that embossing becomes really nice and shiny then. Smooth, I should say, smooth. So I am just going, while well, I'm embossing this, well, I've gone all pixelated on my camera. I hope it's not pixelated for you guys. So just while I'm doing this, I'm going to pop that blog address back up again so that you can jot it down and head over there. You'll see a subscribe button. So you can go and um, subscribe and I will be sending this card out as a PDF tutorial tomorrow, complete with all the measurements and uh, written instructions so if you want you can print it out um, and recreate it that way and of course you can come back and watch the replay and create along with me if you want so and now i've got to cut this out so apologies we're here for a bit today aren't we All right, now if I go really gently in the hooray and hope my eyes don't fail me, I should be ooh, and keep reasonably close to that embossed edge. I should be able to use that uh, bottom part of the sentiment quite easily. just around this area where it's a bit squeezy. Jeepers, I'm not doing a very good job. Maybe I should have I should have pulled out that stamp set that's got all the uh, sentiments on there that you can actually die cut, right? Oh. Getting there, nearly there. Oh, fiddly, fiddly. Oh, there we go. Hooray! Hooray, she did it. Save that for later. Close your eyes. I need to, I'll hide that now and bring this back. Uh, yes, re-inking is one of those things. I also re-inked my um, Memento. That was nice and black. All right, here we go. Have I got it close? Can I use it? Oops, might help if I'm straight. Oh, not quite. Um, look at that. Bother. I wonder if I can, how will I get away with that? Probably needs to just come in a bit tighter, doesn't it? Oh, you know what? I could fussy cut that too. Because there's a little bit of ups and a little bit of downs. I don't know whether my eyes would be able to handle it, but uh, let's have a crack. Because we've got the two descending letters, so they will add a little bit of interest. And then we've got the ascending in the D.
and the T in the apostrophe. There we go. Ah, beautiful. There's always a way, right? It's your day. Always a way. Radio, I think we are ready to assemble this now. So what I'm going to do is just give, like, use a, a pencil and just because I want to know where, like, I'm going to line it up where I need to line it up, and I'm just going to grab a lead pencil and just really gently run around the inside of that circle so that I can stage my inside flowers. Okay, and they will tuck behind so anything like I won't get to see the bottom of this flower if I pop it that way so I need to pop it up that way and then I can put it's your day just like that so let's do that and of course these will all have to be stuck down flat oh, and I'm running out of adhesive now I'm just going to put my adhesive in the center of the flower so that I can tuck my leaves up underneath it Pop that into the middle. Feeling I'm going to run out of adhesive very, very soon. And I don't think I've got one right beside me. Okay. And up there. I won't worry about using any of the small ones on the inside. Right, close your eyes again. My second country band for the day. Ooh. Doing well. Okay. And so we've got hooray. It's your day on the inside. So I'm just going to pop a lock down on that to hold it. And while I find where my eraser is. There we go. That should be enough. And then I'm just going to rub out the rest of that circle that I can see, just in case I don't line it up completely. Okay. So that's on our card front. Right. Yeah, that's it. Just use my scissors. Okay, so when we're going to adhere this one on, we obviously don't want to go on our little flappy thing here. So we need to keep on the outside, put a little bit just underneath it just to hold that secure. And slim line down. Whoops, that uh, I think I, oh, I should be out of more. I can see the red liner there. I'm coming close. Which reminds me, I also need to buy more cling wrap because I'm getting close to that too. All right, so we're going to layer that down on top. And make sure that we've got that popping up in our window nicely. Okay, now we can do our front. So when adhering to the front, we obviously don't want to put like we wouldn't want to put adhesive over our entire leaf because then we would actually stick our little peekaboo window closed. So we don't want to do that. So everything needs to stay within that little circle there. So I'm going to, shall I put that up with my, yeah, I think I will. I will use adhesives and I'm running out of that as well. Dimensionals. So just one right in the middle so that again I can pop my leaves underneath it. Now what am I going to use for some bling? What have I got that I can use? Any suggestions? What do you think would match? Okay so they can slip right underneath. I'm still going. Might use a couple of these little ones just to fill her in a little bit more. Hey Susie. 
All right. So we'll pop that there. We might pop another one down here. Again, just make sure it's all contained within that little peekaboo window. And then what else? I reckon that's enough. I know it's four, Paula, it's not five. <laughs> but we can count the flower as our fifth, our fifth bundle. Okay, and then we'll put hooray just there. So I'll use a mini right on the end. Right on the end there. And then I'll use my naughty adhesive. And so bling, 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 what am I going to use? Should I just use normal rhinestones today or should I use something different? Hooray. <laughs> well, maybe now I've got six elements, right? <laughs> With my If you include my sentiment, is that a sixth element? <laughs> So now I just need some bling. So let me know what you think. So we've got hooray, it's your day. And then you can pop in your own personal sentiment on the inside of your card. So almost done. Now, another little tip, if you are doing something that is long, you don't want to adhere anything because um, the card that I was making for Creative Carnival, it, um, it, it was a long uh, piece that went over the front and just be mindful that if you um, are doing that then you can't really have anything go higher than your fold mark because when you fold when you open your card and this is getting close to when you open it it actually crunches whatever you've got here so I had I think I had carrots or something and uh, the little tips were getting a little bit squished so you just have to be bearing that in mind as well when you create your card. And you can actually put your circle quite high up if you've got a lot of other things going on on your card. Um, or you can pop it a little bit further down, just depends. So, you, But you do have that allowance. Like you saw me put the circle right at the top, but of course we're only doing partial die. So um, that's how that works. Okay, uh, Leslie said she's just catching the end results. Yes, please go back and watch the replay. So hopefully you enjoy it. I still gotta put some bling on there. Don't run away just yet. Um, I don't know what to I don't know what to use. Um oh, I don't know. Maybe I'll just do rhinestones. Just to because yeah. I always go back to rhinestones. Well, maybe I've got I really should go through all my embellishments and sort them out. What's what's not retired and what is retired and what are these blue adhesives? I could use, oh, maybe they might be big. Small ones would be okay. I don't know whether they're current or not current, but I'm going to use them. Because <laughs> they match, right? They're probably retired, but we'll we'll use them anyway. Now I've lost my other scissors. Oh, here they are. Right in front of me. So we'll pop a few of these guys down. They will match pretty ways. Mm, shall I keep it all contained? I sort of feel like I do want to keep it all contained. But maybe I should put maybe I should put some down here. Oh no, that's not a good spot. I'll keep them. I'll keep them on in my little window. And I almost need like a smaller one again, don't we? Okay, well don't do that then. I'll put one over there. How about that? I don't know. I don't know. One of those times. There we go. Must go through them. I've got so many containers like this of retired embellishments. I don't know what's what anymore. Okay, so there we go. There is our card. I will bring it up a little bit closer to you. So we've just done, if you are coming in late, we have just done um, basic uh, ink blending on top of our white. We've done our partial die cut with our little peekaboo underneath and our sentiment card normal. And I have used the Stampin' Up! colour challenge for this month. I think they work out quite lovely. And uh, what else was I going to say? Um, so 
like I said, I taught this in Creative Carnival, which is going to be opening again in April sometime for registration and sign-ups. Um, what am I looking for? I'm looking to go back here. And of course, my newsletter address, uh, blog address, so you can go and sign up for my newsletter. I will have all the written instructions for this card that will go out in tomorrow morning's PDF along with uh, any news from Stampin' Up! and any news from me. <laughs> so there we go. Pretty enough? Good -o. I feel like there's a lot of space around it but I also feel like that's probably enough as well. I could have sh cut my layering down a little bit more I guess that would have pulled it all in but uh, there we go. I will just quickly swing back to me so I can say goodbye to everybody. And um, next week, I think, is all as normal unless, of course, um, I've fallen down the outland of season six and I don't want to come. <laughs> I guess I'm watching that instead, but I'm joking. Of course, I will be here. Um, the mad rush of everything is over for the moment i know it's going to pick up again soon very soon though uh, okay so thank you very much for joining me and we will see you again next thursday same time same place bye bye